Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel from Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. I'm almost out of pillow paint, but I do have 10 by 10 inch canvases, which gives me the opportunity that I'm looking for to try to use what I've got for a scoop and drag. And I'm going to use a black center, weirdly enough. We'll see how that goes. My black, my white is Sherwin Williams. My black is also Sherwin Williams. They're both satin finish. The black is tricorn black. I'm going to try and not affect the center, but who knows what's going to happen because this is a different kind of experiment for me. I could drag a comb through. Well, that might be kind of cool. don't have a perfect circle but it's not that bad. And it looks like I might have enough paint to do it. I just have to choose my colors. I want to do something odd but uh, I'm going to start with some Color Art Prism Pour Midnight Shadow. Some primary element periwinkle. Excuse me. Vivid intense periwinkle. Not a primary element. Another vivid intense fluorescent is the red violet. I'm going to use some jasmine, which is a primary element. Contemplating using some saffron, which doesn't make it a whole lot different than what I usually do. So maybe I'll just keep going that way. This is sour lemon that's plugged itself up, but I got it. And a little orange crush before I finish. Oh, I got a plug. Come on, come on out. No, nope, it's not coming out. I can put that aside. I had Miami Magenta, which is another prism pour, I believe. Now, I have way too many bottles in my way, so I'm going to try and get a few of them out of here. I might just put everything right in my container. Oh, I forgot the Royal Sapphire. Which might go very badly with the saffron. Ooh, I just put my hand on. Yeah, I'm going to do it. This is Blue Velvet. Now, instead of trying to lift all these bottles, I'm just going to get this little container out of here. And pick a playing card. Put some fresh from yesterday or the day before cell activator on there. Amsterdam Black and Australian Floetrol, some Pebio Iridescent Gold, and I use my residual colors, travel them to the edge. Although I kind of like the color on the outside. I don't think anything that's around the outside edge will actually remain. 
I do want to steal a little paint. Put it right there. Scrape off the rest of my card. I could do that with a palette knife. Possibly even easier than any other way. I don't see much orange. I also see that I have black. Maybe I will tip. This whole thing. Yeah, I blew into the black and it exposed some cells. I am a lot concerned about that center not turning out to be something that I like. So I am going to add some more jasmine. be across the room. And some more, oh, can I get some more orange crush? Yes I can, a little bit, very little, very, 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 come on. Okay, that was not enough. So we'll do the saffron again. Grab one of my little acetate tools. Let's use the white this time since we're on black. That makes sense to me. Although I did pick the one acetate tool that's been... I have a tutorial video, should you happen to be interested in how to make the acetate tools. I'm just going to dump that right in the bucket. This isn't really turning out to be exactly like I'd hoped, but it's okay. Those are pretty cells. They're even prettier when I spread them out. This might be really okay. That one is looking rather brown though. So let's cover that up with something better, like blue. It's been really hot, so the paint moves a lot less. It sticks to the canvas a lot less readily. Trying to learn not to leave long strands because I don't like the way they spin out. And at least cross them over and keep waggling. That's stuck. fast and I've got a little space on my canvas that is probably going to be fine but I should if I scrape down a canvas I make sure to go back and fill in the spot that I just stole the paint from Almost there. I just love it when you find cell a patch of cells that have beautiful colors in them. Makes you want to spread them out. The blue and the orange are looking pretty awesome together actually. I might want to put a couple spirals in. A 
especially where I'm looking at right here. I like that little shape in there. What else have we got that I need to fix before I get rid of that bubble? Now I really could use a little paint over there. Maybe I'll just put some on there. This is basically not enough. But I can't actually say that for real because until I spin I won't know. I'm not sure that this is going to work out, but I'm going to cross my fingers, grab my barrier, throw my swipe card in the bucket, get everything out of the way that I can. Move that into the position so it's equally on all four posts. And go for it. I see that orange line in the center. It's bugging me. It might be okay though, now that I almost stopped and looked. i got to check this out just in case. Wow, I like that so much more than I thought I was going to. And i got to keep spinning a little bit more, but you know what? I did save my palette knife, and I do have pretty colors. So I can put those right here where I need them. And anywhere else I'm so desiring. I always wanted to do that, actually. Just use the colors right straight off the... Spin off. Because they are so cool, really. What else? I don't want to do that much more. Okay, I've got something nice here, though. and spin it again. And maybe we'll get my edges covered. I'm loving it. I'm so happy. I'm surprised. Maybe I shouldn't be, but... My artwork is for sale. I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your kind words and your compliments keep my morale boosted. Thank you for your questions. Uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video and uh, spring clothing below the video as well as Le Gallerist, Society6, Pixels.com, Find America are all places that you can get my artwork reproduced on stuff that, uh, that they provide. This is cool. Let's see. Okay, those two sides are covered, that side's covered. I'm all covered. That's pretty awesome. I like the shapes in there. They're a little odd, but that's perfect. I need a little odd shapes. I'm going to try and shimmer that at you, and I'm going to call it a day in my studio. And I'll peel up my pretty colors tomorrow. And my battery is going to die, and hopefully you're still here before it does so. Let's go in there. Really nice. Alright, I love you guys. I hope you come again. I got 31 lists, 31 playlists with 100 videos on them each. And uh, I also have all my playlists organized by topic and genre. And if you ever want something, just mention it to me and I'll do my best to provide it for you because it's easy for me and it's not as easy for you. So my email address is 
E-A-S-P-B and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com and uh, if you would like to acquire, inquire about lessons or purchasing an artwork that would be the best way to contact me. My Amazon link below the video is near the 20% off color art coupon code and the 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. The uh, color art coupon code will get you prism pores, primary elements, vivid intents, and polypores, and etc. And the pixel paint designs will get you Australian Floatrol, Boom Gel, and pixel paint, uh, excuse me, and Pebeo paints, and lots of other stuff you might want to check out there as well. So whatever I've missed, you'll see in another video, but um, from me to you, I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. My paint pouring recipe will be below show more. I hope you take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Whatever I forgot, you'll see in, you'll see in another video maybe. All right. Bye for now. I love you guys. See you. Priscilla out.